And welcome in. Game day preview time. Taking a peek at the Montana State Bobcats. Big game, Jeremy, Saturday. Semi-final round matchup. And you start with Montana State offensively. They want to pound the rock. Veteran up front. A lot of different guys offensively that can run the football. They've got a good running game on the offensive side. Yeah, they were able to redshirt Logan Jones last year, and he's been a big factor for him this year in the run game. Isaiah Fonse fought through injuries. He's still almost 1,000 yards this year, yeah. uh, so he's done a good job. Wildcat with Travis Johnson. It's not one guy like James Robinson was with Illinois State. This team can run it in many different ways. Yeah, a lot of different looks, and Tucker Rovig, their quarterback, has solidified that quarterback position that was fluid early in the year. Here's Spencer Wagey talking about the different looks of the offense and getting ready for that Wildcat. Their running backs are really talented and their quarterback's not afraid to run the ball either. Um, but at the same time, uh, their quarterback will, will want to throw it too. So that'll be something different. I didn't think Illinois State wanted to throw it, wanted to throw too much against us. And so that'll be something that's different this week. All right, you flip it over to the defensive side of the football in Montana State. They do a really good job of what? Stopping the run, Jeremy. And they've got some big names we saw in the Fargo Dome last year that are active, and they've got a good scheme under head coach Jeff Chuck. Yeah, this is a hot football team, and two of the hottest players on the team are Bryce Sterk and Derek Marks up front. Uh, I think they're better up front physically. Uh, Scrimpos was a nice addition yeah. to them as well. And on the back end, they're pretty physical. Uh, Braden Conkle's a good safety. Yeah, all-conference, all-American cali caliber guy, Callahan O'Reilly, their middle linebacker, leading tackler. So got a lot of names we recognize from a year ago that are improved and a whole lot better. Here's Ty Brooks talking about the unique looks up front from Montana State and playing with urgency on offense. Uh, they'll probably give us a few of the, the blitzes, um, but at the same time, I don't think they played a running team like we have. Uh, so they, I don't really know what they're going to do, but we'll be ready. They have a good defensive line, uh, linebackers, you know what I mean? So we just got to go out and play our game. Uh, physicality, whoever's the more physical team is probably going to come out on top, and I like our odds. So it's a hot Montana State team like Jeremy mentioned. They've won six in a row, 11 wins on the season, the most by the Bobcats since 2012. Jeremy, it's a, an electric stage win, and you're in in Frisco. A lot on the line, and certainly big keys for the Bison to be successful as well. You know, the Bobcats didn't play well in Fargo last year. A lot of that had to do with the Bison, but I think a, a fast start for the Bison is going to be key this year because then the Bobcats start to think, here we go again. Uh, they were down 38-3 at half last year. So I think a, a first half hot start is important for the Bison. As far as the stage, the winner goes to Frisco. That's about all you need to say. National television, ESPN2, yeah. it's going to be a fun, fun day. That's yeah, going to be great. A 1 p.m. Central time kick on ESPN2. We'll have it fired up on the radio side for you as well on the Peterson Farm Seed Bison Radio Network. For Cole Hine, for Jeremy Jorgensen, I'm Jeff Colhane. Thanks for watching our game day preview of Montana State.